I'm Chris Payne and I've had EV1 for five years in Los Angeles. I live in uh, Santa Monica. From the beginning, you know, we were like the dream owners of these cars. I mean, you know, every owner, every driver of this car wanted this car. We, we had like little nerdy card clubs and we would meet and talk about how great our car was. And, and so when the car began to get taken away, it was like, oh, it's just really upsetting. Well, the sad thing about the history of the car is that General Motors decided to sort of disappear the car quietly, like take them back, apparently crush them. It never happened, it was never here. And so a lot of the owners began thinking, well, how can we let people know how great this car was? So I came up with the idea of having a funeral for the car. And uh, we got to Hollywood Forever Cemetery to uh, give us a wonderful location with all the Hollywood movie stars. And we got a rabbi and we invited the inventor of the car and many of the early uh, designers of the car and owners. And we had a, uh, a hearse and we did a, a parade of cars from downtown Los Angeles to the cemetery where all the mourners gathered and we wanted to publicly mark for the media at the end of the electric car. So it wasn't a quiet disappearance. It was like, a, oh, they took away the electric cars. The irony of the funeral was that um, it was also the first day we had a smog alert in five years. So completely apropos, uh, we should have had some Hummers or some Suburbans in the uh, funeral procession, I think, in retrospect. My hope is that people hold a place uh, in their mind for electric cars and to understand that they really do work extremely well. We just need a manufacturer to bring them to market that can meet our needs. And when they're there, we should go out and buy them.